compassion and empathy for the whole person. Developing compassion and empathy in making decisions based on a person's total need in all areas proved to be an asset for my growth. Seeing by assessing and laboring for the whole person is the Lord's chosen, compassionate, empathetic way. Genuine caring plays a most important part in having compassion and empathy. Seeing the whole person when given care is most beneficial and necessary in order for genuine interventions to be chosen to implement in care. With guidance from God's Word, I learned to give my full effort for a positive outcome. I learned to not label a person by their presented symptoms and ailment. Keeping in mind conditions and ailments can and shall be changed by use of the Lord's proven methods of intervention. By keeping the person in thought separate from their condition allowed me to focus on positive replacements, looking for and keeping in focus the care interventions to make a condition better for a person can take the place of the person feeling burdened because a condition exists. Exploring and seeking various restorative methods for positive intervention started developing in me early. Observing Jesus' approach, I see the Lord Jesus' consistent pattern in giving us positive focus direction for the care of the whole person. Jesus gave us clear, constant direction for our lives. The Lord Jesus has set before us that which is life-giving to reach for and to claim as we seek the Lord's presented help as taught in his word. Deuteronomy 11:22. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him. Luke 4.4 4. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Matthew 22.36-40 through 40. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Ecclesiastes 9.10 Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Positive encouragement The primary choice is to identify and focus the person receiving care on the positive contributions available to provide them with hope during their care. Methods selected for treatment intervention, the person receiving care is to accept along with the part they are to play in their care. Helping the individual receiving care to believe that there will be progress and to also point out to them the progress from their efforts will also give strength to their efforts. The view of needy situations being replaced by those drawn from positive responses was an early part of my becoming an intervening 
believing and trusting person today, I am reminded of the Lord Jesus' encouragement in his word, helping us to accept and implement the ways which, when implemented, generate life. Ways that promote life are greater than those which promote death. Following the Lord Jesus in his manner of intervening to give life helps us to understand why we need to know and implement his ways. We understand life more complete is available for those involved in the Lord's manner of intervening with encouraging and positive care interventions. 1 John 4.4 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 2 Corinthians 12.9 And he said unto them, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Galatians 3.37 For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Colossians 3.10 And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him.